Hello, I'm making this tutorial to show you how to connect to your Raspberry Pi over Bluetooth using PuTTY. PuTTY is typically a program that connects to your, uh, your devices remotely uh, via wireless uh, using, SSH, using the SSH channel, but we want to use PuTTY in this case to connect to your uh, device over, the blue, over Bluetooth. A little background information, I currently have a Raspberry Pi 3. I've just uh, formatted and installed Raspbian Lite, as you can see here, Raspbian Lite. I just wrote to the SD card. So right now, after writing to the SD card, I want to make it, uh, I want to be able to SSH into it, and I want to be able to connect, uh, well, I want to connect to my wireless network and SSH into it immediately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm, I made two files. So uh, this this file is nothing in this file. It's just it's just called SSH, no extension. There's nothing in it, and that's just to enable the SSH channel. And this one here, uh, WPA supplicant dot con conf. Um, well, I think it's short for config, but it basically has my um, my network uh, SSID and my password. And, and you can look this up uh, on your own. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this. And right now my SD card is in my computer. I'm just going to paste this here. This is quite convenient um, since I don't want to just go my, my Raspberry Pi and start uh, enabling and doing all this stuff. It's, it just it's, it allows you to start SSH and your Wi-Fi immediately, immediately as soon as you pop the SD card into your Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to click on here and I'm going to hit eject. It's probably ejected. Yep, it's ejected. And I'm going to stick my SD card into my Raspberry Pi. Back in a second. Okay, so the SSD card is my inside my Raspberry Pi. Um, everything should be working. I have my PuTTY uh, program here. Um, so I'm just going to click on that. Um, click on my uh, Raspberry Pi 3 here, double click on that, and uh, you have your default login and password, your default login is Pi, the password is ras Raspberry, R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y, okay, so I'm in, and the very first thing I want to do is go to Raspy config and change, because just to make things more convenient for me. Hold on. Okay, good. Still in. So sudo, because you need administrative privileges, you gotta do you have to do sudo all the time. Sudo rasp dash config. Oh, I didn't spell config for the G. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my password. Name it something simple for just for convenience sakes. So I'm just gonna name it pi. And I'm just going to change the network, uh, the host name, because I, I like seeing uh, something simple. Pi, that's good. Do I run reboot now? Why not? Okay, I'll be back in a second. So I reconnect, reconnect to my Raspberry Pi. I'm back into the PuTTY, and the very first thing I want to do is I want to make a file. Uh, so the file that I want to make is, where is it, here it is, so this file here, I'll, I'll, I'll provide a description in the link, uh, I'll provide a link in the description, but the file I want to make is this, so you want to make this file, and um, Again, sudo gives you sudo gives you ministry privileges. Nano is the editor I'm using, and I'm making I'm making a file, an sh file. It should be blank, nothing here. I'm gonna copy and paste this script. And paste it here. I'm gonna save and exit. So that's a control S, control X. So I have it saved. And next thing you want to do is give it permission, give it um, administrative permission. Uh, basically, you want to make it executable. Sorry. So I'm going to copy and paste this here. 
So uh, here, to mode um, stands for change modification. Oh, let me go back. Change modification. 755 means to make it executable. And this is the file. Well, this is the pathway, and this is the file that uh, we want to give it. Uh, making next. Oh, you have to type in sudo first. Again, sudo. Okay, now that's done. Now, like I said earlier, you want to have this this script uh, start at boot, which means that as soon as you start your Pi, as soon as you power on your Raspberry Pi, you want it to run the script. And now in this uh, in this website, it says you uh, that they typically put uh, put it here in nano or RC local. However, I find that. Um, yeah, it's 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 good for uh, Raspbian, but I know that Kali Linux and other distributions that doesn't don't have this file, so I decided to put it elsewhere just to have it start at uh, to have the script start at boot, uh, and I found that um, that if you put it in cron tabs, it's uh, and the cron tabs typically is in almost every distribution, and it's and if you don't if it's not in a distribution, you should definitely get that program. It's basically a program that allows you to run scripts. Or our commands at specific times, or, or during the day, or or at boot. So, uh, let's do that. Let's type in sudo cron tab dash e. I'm gonna select one for nano. That's the editor I use. So this is cron tabs, and I've I've used this for other purposes, and uh, for our purpose, we're gonna use this command. Uh, called at reboot and I find that the script doesn't work unless you have it sleep for a couple seconds and then start so I'm gonna have it sleep for 10 seconds and I'm gonna use the ampersand ampersand means that after after sleep I'm gonna I want to run this command which is sudo and the script space and um, the ampersand at the end means to run it in the background so this is the so I'm gonna save and exit out of here and that should be about it everything should be working about now I'm going to reboot and try to move on to the next step in our in our, in our tutorial and we're back resuming the, the tutorial uh, apparently, you had apparently I just found this out. You're gonna have to put this command in. Gonna run this, this script at least once before reboot uh, for this program to work. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna run, run now. And it gives me this message, and we just wait. Press enter. It looks like it's done. If you want to make sure it's done, just type in jobs, and it looks like it's done. Now we're gonna reboot. And we're gonna wait uh, 30 seconds, and then we're gonna give it a try. Okay, we're back. Okay, so now uh, our per focus towards our computer. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go here down to the right corner and click on this, and we're gonna turn on Bluetooth. My Bluetooth was already turned on, so I'm gonna right click on it, go to settings, and then we're gonna scroll all the way down. To what well, you see here, nothing's nothing's there. To devices and printers. Initially, you're gonna want to go up here and and and, uh, and try to add it from here, but don't do that. What you want to do is you want to go down to devices and printers. You're gonna click on that. You're gonna right click on your computer, and then you're gonna go down to Bluetooth settings. And uh, I'm just gonna put this to the right here so you can see things. Um, where it says here COM ports, we're going to click on COM ports and click on add. And then I'm just going to push this down to the, well, put down, probably down here. And we're going to go to outgoing and click on browse. Search again. Okay, so you don't see anything here thus far. Uh, so what you're going to have to do. It's gonna to go to your Raspberry Pi, and you wanna make it discoverable. So I'm just gonna 
maybe over here, type in um, sudo Bluetooth control, tooth control or CTL, that's short for control. And then we're going to make it discoverable. Once you make it discoverable, it should show up right here. So discoverable on. And it showed up right here. But before we click on it, let's uh let's try something. Let's um let's go here, let's pair it with it. And just before you pair with it, we're gonna click on this right there. So let's type in um scan on scan. I'm not gonna hit on off. I'm gonna see my I'm gonna see my computer first and then I'm gonna click on scan off. Okay, there's my computer. Scan off. I'm gonna type in pair. And we're gonna look for my MAC address. My MAC address is right here. The name of my computer is right there. So I'm gonna type in pair and my MAC address. This says it's attempting to pair. Do I want to pair? Yes. Click on yes. Looks like I'm paired. And uh, before I uh, before I click on Add Device, I'm gonna double click on here the Raspberry, and it's it's gonna keep going um, until I click on Yes on this Add Device. Match Yes. And if you look here. This just showed up. That's what you want. Click on OK. Click on OK. And now let's connect. Let's see if we can connect to our uh, our uh, Raspberry Pi. It says com. Was it com three or com four? I, I believe it was com. Uh, com. Well, we'll try both. So serial, and let's type in com four. I think it was com four. And click on open. Yep, it works. Uh, I'm just gonna check something. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna turn off discoverable. Off. And hopefully it still it still works. So let's uh, let's close this. And let's try to open it again. And I guess it was COM4. So putty. Click on serial. And then click on COM4. Yep, it works. And that's it. That's how you get it to work. Uh, connect to your Raspberry Pi via Bluetooth. And if you have any trouble, just play around with it a bit. I had to play around with it quite a bit to finally get it to work. But you'll, get, you'll eventually get it to work.